Welcome to Easy to Love Yoga with Shanna. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting me. I really appreciate your support. So today's chair yoga class, we're going to use a chair. We're also going to use a yoga strap. So please have that yoga strap just resting on the arm of your chair for now. If you don't have a yoga strap, you could also use a men's necktie. So let's begin class today by coming seated forward in our chair, glutes only on the chair, hamstrings off the chair, nice 90 degree bend at the knees, feet flat on the floor. Let's roll our shoulders to the back of the room, releasing any tension we might be holding in our shoulders today. And let's change directions now and roll to the front of the room. One more roll and then place your hands wherever they land comfortably on your legs. Focusing now on posture, sitting nice and tall, lengthening the spine, crown of the head rising towards the ceiling, nice tall posture. Taking a moment now to close our eyes and bringing our awareness to our breath. Noticing as we inhale, the chest rises and then the belly rises, and as we exhale, the belly falls and then the chest falls. Notice your breath for the next five rounds of breath. Bringing your awareness now to the crown of your head, we'll begin a scan of our body from the crown of our head down to our toes. Please notice how you're feeling in your body today, any little aches or pains you need to be aware of during practice. Remembering to always stay safe and if a pose doesn't feel right, you do not need to do it. Also, notice your energy as we begin this class. How are you feeling today? Completing the scan of our body and bringing our awareness again to our breath for our short four square breathing practice. Let's begin with an inhale through the nose of four, three, two, one. Retain your breath, four, three, two, one. Exhale through your nose, four, three, two, one. Retain the emptiness, four, three, two, one. Inhale, relax your shoulders, retain, exhale, retain, inhale, notice your posture, retain, exhale, retain. Let's return now to our regular breath, keeping our eyes closed and our shoulders relaxed. Let's begin by stretching out the neck, lowering the right ear towards the right shoulder, gently stretching out the left side of the neck. Shoulders still relaxed here. One more breath, return the head to center, and this time let's bring our ear towards the opposite shoulder, stretching out the other side. One more breath, return to center. This time, keeping the eyes closed and shoulders relaxed, let's lift our chin high to stretch the front of the neck as if we were looking up to the ceiling. One more breath, returning to center. And this time, let's draw the chin in towards the chest, stretching the back of the neck. One more breath, and let's return our head to center and open our eyes. We're going to begin moving our spine from side to side, starting by using your right hand, grabbing the chair, and taking your left hand overhead, really reaching for the ceiling, lifting the rib cage, feeling that side body, getting that nice stretch, and let's slowly come into a side bend and only go as deep as you feel comfortable today. Let's hold that side bend for four rounds of breath. Let's draw that hand overhead one last time. And now changing sides, hand in the sky, grabs the chair, right hand reaches for the ceiling. Really feel that stretch in the side body and now start moving into that side bend as deep as you're comfortable. Hold for four breaths. Reaching once again for the ceiling overhead. And now let's do six single side bends, taking your time, moving from side to side, getting a nice stretch. Perhaps you'd like to take it a little deeper each time you come into a side stretch on one side. 
Do whatever feels best for your body today. Looking up towards the ceiling as you come into that side bend. And our last two, one on each side. And coming back to center, sitting nice and tall in the chair. Now we're going to introduce a gentle twist for the spine. Let's begin by bringing our hands forward. Now on your next exhale, you're going to take that left hand and bring it as far back behind you as you can reach as you follow it with your gaze. And then we're going to inhale to draw that hand forward. So as we exhale, the left hand travels. Let's follow it with our gaze. Reach as far behind you as you can. And then inhale to draw forward. Just introducing that gentle twist. Exhale right. Follow with your gaze. And as you follow with your gaze, notice your body is turning. Inhale forward. Exhale left. Follow with your gaze. Inhale forward. Last one like this. Exhale right. Follow with your gaze. Inhale forward. Lower the hands to the knees. Now we're going to do a full twist. So we're going to take our left hand to our right knee. Right hand behind you on the chair. Think about a tall posture here. And on your next exhale, gently look over your shoulder. Let's hold for eight rounds of breath. Notice those muscles resisting. They will relax as you continue to breathe deeply. One more breath here. Let's slowly unwind and come seated forward once again. Beautiful. This time right hand to left knee, left hand behind you on the chair. Tall posture. And on your next exhale, gently twist. Look over the shoulder. Eight breaths here. One more breath. Slowly unwind, coming seated forward once again. Now we're going to introduce a front to back movement for our spine. And here's where we're going to use our yoga strap or our necktie. We're going to start with that strap down by our knees, holding the strap about hip width apart. And we're going to do some cat and cow. So we're going to start with an inhale to cow. As we lift our gaze, lift your arms overhead and allow your belly to come forward for cow. And as you exhale, lower that strap to your knees and arch your back towards the back of the chair for cat. Inhale for cow, lifting your gaze and the strap, belly forward. Exhale for cat, lower the strap, arch. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. And we'll do one more here. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. This time we're going to inhale and we're going to bring that strap in front of our line of sight. So when we look through that strap, we can see through to the ceiling. We're thinking about a nice tall posture here, so make sure you're fully supported by your chair. And on your next exhale, let's gently twist to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Last one, exhale, left. Inhale, center. This time, widen the grip on the strap. Still keeping that strap nice and tight. Still a nice tall posture here. Let's exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Last one. Exhale, left. Inhale, center, and hold. Now we're just going to revisit that side bend. So on your next exhale, lower the right hand and look up through the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, change sides. Inhale, center. Exhale, change. Inhale, center. One last time. Exhale. And inhale to center. Let's lower that strap. Now we're going to work on the upper back and shoulders. So we're going to sit all the way back in the chair, but not lean against your back breast. So balance on your toes, sit nice and tall in your chair. Start with that strap wider than hip width apart. I'm going to demonstrate what we're doing. So we're going to start with that strap. We're going to inhale up, and we're going to bring that strap all the way behind us to the chair. 
Now the wider the grip on the strap you have, the easier it is to bring the arms behind you. Also, if you have any restrictions and perhaps this is as far as you can go, just hold here and don't worry about lowering any further. So let's start down by our knees. Having a nice grip on the strap, let's inhale up and exhale behind to the seat, keeping those elbows straight. Inhale up, exhale to your knees. Inhale up. Exhale behind. Inhale up. Exhale to your knees. And here's our change. Inhale up. This time it's a 10 count. Slow lower. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And 10 count up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Beautiful. Let's lower that strap and let's come seated forward once again. Just the glutes on the chair, hamstrings off the chair. Once again, that 90 degree bend at the knees. We're going to do one more stretch here for the upper body. Let's draw one arm across the body. Let's keep the shoulder relaxed. Just support under your elbow. Now we're going to take that hand reaching high, touch down to the shoulder, support under the elbow, keep that elbow pointed upwards and close to your head. If it's more comfortable for you to grab the elbow and bring that hand between your shoulder blades, you can do that as well. It's not necessary though. One more breath here. Let's release and we're going to change sides, supporting under the elbow, relaxing the shoulder, Still sitting nice and tall in the chair, always focusing on posture. Let's take that hand nice and high once again. Touch down to the shoulder, support under the elbow, elbow close to the head and point it upwards. And again, if it's available to you, you can grab that elbow and bring the hand between the shoulder blades. One more breath here. And let's release and let's just roll three times to the back and three times to the front. Beautiful. Let's take that yoga strap or that necktie and set it back on the arm of the chair just so it's out of the way. So today we're going to focus on the hands. So from the fingertips all the way to our elbows. So we're going to begin by rolling at the wrists. We spend a lot of time all day long using our hands for our jobs, using them when we're on the phone, on the computer, we never take a moment to think about the fact that these muscles get tired and they need a little stretching. Let's roll the other way. So we're going to spend a little time focusing on that today. So we're going to do a stop sign stretch. So we're going to start with one hand making a stop sign. We're going to bring a very gentle pressure to the fingers just until you can feel the stretch in the low part of the wrist. We're going to hold for five rounds of breath. One more breath here. And now we're simply going to lower those fingers and once again, gentle pressure, this time feeling the stretch along the top of the wrist. So the stop sign stretch is for the extensors and flexors of the wrist. One more breath. Let's release and start with that stop sign on the opposite side, gentle pressure to the fingers, looking for the stretch in the low part of the wrist. So if you have any sort of repetitive job, you're an electrician, a plumber, a cashier, secretary, anything like that at all, where you're constantly using your hands all day long and you notice they start to get tired, just stop once every couple of hours and spend maybe 20 seconds doing the stop sign stretch on each hand. Let's lower the fingers and once again, gentle pressure, feeling that nice stretch. You'll find after you get into the habit of stopping anytime you notice the tiredness and doing this stretch, that you'll be able to enjoy your work day much longer. One more breath. Let's give it a little shake out. Beautiful. Now let's bring our hands together at heart center. We're going to lock our elbows into our body to restrict them from moving around. Let's interlace our fingers and make a really tight fist. We're going to start to make a circle in one direction and I want you to notice the muscles being engaged as you form this tight circle. Let's do two more in this direction. 
and pause. And now let's work in the opposite direction. And sometimes when we do the opposite direction, we notice maybe it's a little bit more difficult. Maybe we need to think about it a little more. Just notice. And two more. Beautiful, and let's pause here. Now we're gonna take our elbows away from our body, separate our fingers slightly. I'm just gonna use this next exercise to illustrate why we work on balance in the body and we do everything in each direction. So we're gonna start making a wave. Remember the old disco days and the wave? So whatever direction you started with initially is probably the one that's most comfortable for you. You really didn't need to think about it. It's probably a pretty smooth wave that you're making. We'll do two more like this. Then I want you to pause. Now I want you to wave in the opposite direction. So think about opposites, okay? How does it feel? Do you need to think about it? Is that wave a little bit difficult? Just notice in your own body. And let's do two more. Beautiful, let's just shake it out. So that was just a fun exercise to show you how a wave in one direction changes as we wave in the opposite direction. And let's just shake out those hands. Now we're gonna do star fingers. They look a lot like bear claws. I want you to think about engaging all the muscles in the fingers and the palms of the hands. So really stretching those fingers wide apart as if you were attacking something. One more breath here. We're gonna relax the hand. We're gonna grab a really fat jump rope. And I want you to think about locking those elbows into your side body. And as we skip, we're just rotating the wrists. So we're jumping forward. So rotating the wrists forward. Any good movement in the wrist. Let's do two more rotations. And then let's go back to those star fingers, taking the elbows away from the body once again, really engaging all the muscles in the fingers, palms of the hand. Let's relax, lock those elbows in once more, grab that big fat jump rope, and this time we're skipping backwards. So isolating movement in the wrist, rotating towards the body now as if you were skipping backwards. Let's do two more of these. And one last time, let's do the star fingers, really spreading those fingers wide apart, engaging all the muscles. Okay, and relax the hand. Now we're gonna take our thumb and touch the tip of each finger. We're gonna move up and down the hand, just working on a little bit of dexterity in the hands. Now the next time you reach your pinky finger, I want you to touch the base of the pinky finger instead of the tip and move up and down your hand that way, touching the base of each finger, working on thumb dexterity. A lot of you are thumb textures with your phone, so this is a really good exercise. Once more, up and down the hand, and we're gonna give it a little shake out. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna roll those shoulders out. Maybe they're getting a little tired. And let's change directions, roll the other way. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna make a fist and we're gonna think about almost as if we have our forearms resting on a table. We're just gonna draw inwards, back to center and draw out. Back to center, in, center, out, center, in, center, out, center. If it's easier, think about gluing your elbows into your side body. Let's draw in, center, out, center, in, center, out, center, in, center, out, last one, center. Now this time we're just gonna kind of bring, almost as if we're revving a motorcycle. We're just going to bring our hands up and down, just getting a little bit more movement into the wrists. Let's do two more of these. Beautiful, and a gentle little shake out. Beautiful. Now just do a couple of baby star fingers. Just feeling the energy flowing through those fingers. And shake it out, jazz hands. All right, let's roll those shoulders once again. And the opposite direction. Beautiful. Taking a moment, placing your hands on your lap where they're laying comfortably. 
that's going to conclude the work that we're going to do today for practice. So let's take a moment now to refocus on our breath. Nice tall posture here. Let's bring our palms shining forward and we'll close class today with a couple rounds of Tao breath. So as we inhale, let's reach for the ceiling. And as we exhale, draw your hands towards your shoulders and then press strongly away from the body. On your next inhale, lift those arms in front to the sky. And as you exhale, draw the hands back down to our starting position. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale to the shoulders and press away. Inhale, lift in front. Exhale, draw back in. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale to the shoulders and press away. Inhale, lift in front. Exhale, draw in. We'll do one more. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale to the shoulders and press away. Inhale, lift in front. Exhale, draw in. Here's our change. Inhale, reach for the sky. Palms together. Lower to heart center. Close your eyes. Bring your awareness to the crown of your head once again. Let's do one last scan of our body from the crown of our head to our toes. And just notice how you're feeling after this practice what your energy level is like. Noticing with awareness, but not with judgment. Completing the scan of your body and bringing your awareness once again to your breath, noticing that you're still breathing deeply. I'd like to thank all of you for sharing your energy with this practice today, for taking a mindful time for self-care. It's so important to fit self-care and movement into every day possible. The light within me humbly bows to the light within each of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for participating in class today, and I'll see you again next time.